I would like to welcome all to our 2014 Cardinal Spellman High School commencement exercises. Before I pray the invocation, I please ask you all to join me in a moment of silence to honor our dear friend and colleague, Linda Warnock. Linda, a short time ago, went home to be with Jesus, but we know in our heart she is present with us tonight for this joyous Spellman celebration. Thank you. Please join me in praying for the class of 2014. My brothers and sisters, we gather here to acknowledge and honor the Cardinal Spellman High School class of 2014. Loving God, we thank you for their many accomplishments over the past four years. Inspire these young men and women to dedicate themselves to even more successful in their future academic endeavors. Help them, dear Lord, to enjoy this present moment while maintaining a healthy perspective on the future, give them the spirit of humility and joy with the generous amount of courage and patience to persevere when confronted with difficult obstacles. Lord, it is so difficult for us to say goodbye to these talented and gifted young people. It is hard to let this class go, for they have been very special to us and added so much to our lives. However, new adventures await them, and we must let them go. With great joy and some sadness, we begin our commencement exercises. May God bless the class of 2014. Amen.
Please be seated. All right. Let's just put it out there. This stinks. Here we are, two years in a row, stuck indoors. We're all wondering the same thing right about now. Why, God? Why? And I'm sure the poor people over across the street in the gym are watching in on us on their jumbotron with envy and resentment, all saying, why me? How did I get stuck with that useless green ticket? <laughs> We're sorry, folks. Where are the cameras? Over here. Everybody, why don't we just wave to our friends over in the gym. <laughs> Hello over there, our 500 closest friends. We wish you could be with us. We really do, and hopefully you're able to uh, see and participate uh, in this joyous occasion. Let's look on the bright side. Even though the rain has pretty much stopped, <laughs> timing is everything, isn't it? If we were out in the field, I think we'd all find that maybe it would be a little raw, a little cold, and a pretty muddy mess. So perhaps this is God's way of inviting us to come back into this beautiful holy space, which has been so important in the lives of our uh, graduates, uh, to gather for one last time. And perhaps this is God's way of sharing his own graduation message with you guys. Clearly, we are not in charge. God is in charge. Life is not simple nor predictable. Life can be messy or soggy or muddy. But that's where our faith comes into play. That's when we learn how important it is to depend on God's grace. So maybe that's God's valedictorian speech to all of you and to all of us tonight. Anyway, no matter what the weather backdrop, this is a day, an evening for celebration. We will make, it, we will make the very best of it and turn this into an awesome event here, once again, in this holy and sacred place, the heart of Spellman. So please allow me to extend a warm welcome to Mr. Julian Peebles, our president, Ms. Jerry D. Mahoney, the chair of our board, members of our board, and our awesome faculty and staff who have been relegated to the uh, balcony up in the back there since there weren't enough seats for them here. <laughs> And mostly to the class of 2014, welcome. It, it is my distinct honor and privilege to officially begin the festivities of this wonderful event as we celebrate this most significant day in the lives of 185 graduates. It's going to be a long night. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big number. It's a great number, though. So what can I possibly say in two minutes or less that might stick with you guys as you venture out into the next chapter of your lives? A phrase kept popping into my mind when I think of this outstanding class as a whole and as, you, as of you individually. So here it is. Here's my phrase for you. Get ready. Turn on your brains. This one's profound. Don't blow it. Seriously, you get one shot at this earthly life, and life is a gift to be unwrapped, to be enjoyed, and to be shared. The Bible tells us this, I call you each by name. Think about that. Michael, Brian, Emily, Paris, Ian, Rory, Tommy, Layla, Mary, Dan, Shuma, Sarah, Faith, I call each of you by name. Why? Because God has a plan for you. And here's the more sophisticated way of saying, don't blow it. I hope this stays with you as well. Be a person of purpose. How do you do this? First, I know that you have to walk with God. Whatever that means to you, today or in your future, just don't try to do it separate from God's grace. It won't work. Life is full of choices and decisions and temptations and distractions, opportunities and dreams. But with God beside you and inside you, 
then you can choose to live your life deliberately, with purpose, for his purpose. And somehow, I don't know how it works, but that is the recipe for joy, real joy. So, my dear class of 2014, you are blessed. I suspect you will go down in history at Spelman as one of the best classes ever. I really mean that. It's been an amazing year. You are a class with great charisma, great talent, holiness, and goodness. We're all asking ourselves, how can we top this year? In fact, I've even given a, th a thought from time to time of walking right out the door with you. Quit while you're ahead. Go out on top. <laughs> Just kidding, of course. Seriously, you are a tough act to follow, but that's okay because you've set the bar high for all of us. We are a better school because of you and we will continue to grow to be a better school because you have paved the way with inspiration. So here's my last thought to you. Jesus said to his disciples, you are the light of the world. I can only imagine how they must have looked around at each other and said, what is he talking about? Me, are you kidding? Guess what? Jesus says the same thing to you. You, 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 you are the light of the world. You have been blessed and you have many gifts and talents. So don't blow it. Go out there, live with purpose. Go out there, be the light you are meant to be. Our theme this year describes you perfectly. Enter and learn. You've done that well. Embrace the Spellman way. You've done that really well. And now, go forth and serve. God bless you all. And now it is my distinct honor to present to you our salutatorian of the class of 2014, Miss Erica Lane. Hi. <laughs> if I could use one word to describe the class of 2014, it would be unlucky. Ever since the beginning, when girls were banned from wearing skorts and we found out that we were actually going to have to make up snow days, it seemed that our class was in for a wild ride. Throughout the past four years, we did not disappoint. As sophomores, we were assigned orange on Spirit Day when every other sophomore class has been red. Um, junior year, the price of cookies skyrocketed to the point where people only talked about them to complain about the price. And finally, senior year, our prom venue burned down six weeks before prom, <laughs> only to arrive at our new venue prom night and have the power be out. <laughs> <laughs> But of all the setbacks we have faced over the past four years, the most difficult challenge we have, ha we have endured is the loss of so many loved ones. We have seen the passing of more family, friends, former students, and faculty than one high school, one family, should ever have to deal with. We have all said goodbye, or adios, to amazing mentors, teachers, and friends, but I am convinced we have persevered and grown as a community and as a family of faith. I was gonna come in here today quoting Aristotle and telling you all this may be the last time we are ever together as an entire class, but that means nothing to you. And quite honestly, it means nothing to me. But this quote from my favorite book just might. Life just happens, and when it does, how you handle it will teach you more about who you are than any class or test ever can. The best preparation for the rest of your life might just be no preparation at all. Dive right in, make mistakes, wing it. Figuring out what you want often comes from failing and trying again. It comes from questioning everything, falling in love, fighting the power, and living without limits. Just so you know, I'm not saying don't plan for your future or don't work hard. Just don't let that be all you do, because from experience, I know that that might not always be the best way to go. So kiss the boy, go skydiving, take a road trip, order fried octopus. 
Learn how to juggle, write a book, be a part of a flash mob, do something that scares you, or something that makes you excited, or something that makes you cry. Whatever it is, do something that makes you feel something, because that is what life is all about. So maybe we have had our share of bad luck over the years, but looking back at the big picture, I'd say the class of 2014 has been very lucky, and in fact, extremely blessed. Thank you, and good luck. I now present our class valedictorian, Kate Keneally. Hello. Fellow graduates. Have you read the news about us? We're lazy, we're selfish, we're narcissistic to a fault. In fact, just last year, we even made the cover of Time Magazine. Picture this, a bright blue background. In the center, a teenage girl taking a selfie. In big white block letters, the me, me, me generation. That's us, by the way. The generation born at the turn of the century. Millennials. And apparently, we're going to destroy the world. That front cover really made a powerful statement. A vapid, self-obsessed teenager who can't pull herself away from her phone and her own pretty face long enough to pay serious attention to the serious contents of a serious news magazine like Time. How entirely selfish. Well, to the editor of Time, I have this to say to you. You're fired. <laughs> well, at least for the next few minutes. In your place, I'll be creating an issue of Time that is genuinely representative of Generation Selfie, a representation found right here at Cardinal Spelman High School. Okay, so let's begin with the news section, featuring the students among us who sacrificed the holy grail that is spring break to visit the orphanages of Jamaica with a supply of donated items and open hearts. Next, an article on the March for Life, which brought dozens of Spelman students to Washington, D.C. for a life-changing faith journey. And speaking of faith, our issue will feature Spelman Ministries, and dedicated students who stay late after school to perfect that outreach project, work hard to make that prayer both inspirational and thought-provoking, and dig deep to make that witness talk a real tearjerker. You'll also find a mention of the National Honor Society and the thousands of service hours our members contributed in this year alone, as well as a nod to their recycling club, those dedicated students who met to save the earth, who answered the weekly call, all are welcome and needed. Time's news section will close with an article featuring the Spelman graduates who will go on to serve our nation in the military. To Janine, Rob, Ben, Will, and Darren, we give you our prayers and our sincere gratitude and respect. Of course, no magazine is complete without an entertainment section. In between photographs of We Need a Little Christmas and Thoroughly Modern Millie, you'll find articles detailing the months of hard work that everyone poured into those truly incredible productions, followed by a feature on our talented choir which brings so much life and energy to every beloved school mass. And you'll most certainly see a shout out to Symphonium for performing the single best rendition of somebody that I used to know this world has ever heard. Finally, the sports section. Every variation of the Cardinals, from football to cross country to swim team, will find its place in this section. Our issue of Time Magazine will end with a featured article on our basketball team, the state champions, who truly embody the Spellman spirit that everyone here seems to catch one way or another. And that last article will be inspired by the 2014 Time Person of the Year on the front cover, Spellman's own Joey Glynn. Thus ends the class of 2014's journey into the world of magazine editing. This hypothetical issue of Time speaks to the true nature of millennials, but we must remember that we are not the first generation to be questioned or criticized. Look around you now at past generations at our teachers, our advisors, our parents, our guardians, and those who have been like parents to us. They have loved us and supported us, despite generational gaps. Classmates, please join me now in thanking them for all that they have done.
So, millennials, graduates of the class of 2014 of Cardinal Spelman High School, next year, and for the rest of your lives, create something meaningful, take part in something meaningful, contribute to the world, change the world, bring us one step closer to saving it, and take a selfie while you're at it. Thank you. <laughs> Seniors, just one thing before we do this. Mr. Kelly mentioned how God has called you each by name. But when you gathered here as freshmen on your first day, the first time you were the class of 2014, I called your name and sent you to homeroom. And if you're willing to admit it to yourself, for many of you that was probably very scary and very exciting. Tonight, I get to call your names the last time as the class of 2014 as we send you out to the world. And my friends, I know that's very scary and very exciting. I wish the best for you that life has to offer. Please have faith in yourself, have faith in God, do your very best each and every day, show the world what you're made of. God bless you all and I love you. President, Mr. Peebles, Principal Kelly, Chair of the Board of Trustees, Ms. Mahoney. As Assistant Principal, it is my duty and privilege to present to you the members of the Class of 2014 of Cardinal Spelman High School. These young men and women have completed the course of study required for high school students by the Department of Education of the Archdiocese of Boston. They have been approved and recommended by their faculty. They await their diplomas at your hands. We ask that you please hold your applause until the end. The following students are awarded diplomas. Sarah Gagnon, class president. <laughs> Delina H. Vu, class vice president. <laughs> Layla DeSoto, class treasurer. Juliana Joy Child, class secretary. Paris Rose Adams. Emily Kate Alstead. Kevin David Ambrose. Jake Ryan Armstrong. Emily Lynn Ashton. Brian Patrick Barry. <laughs> Caitlin Elizabeth Bennett. Gabrielle Carol Barry.
Moyes, Mealy, Bienemy. Paul, Nicholas, Bolduck. Kiana, Lynn, Bostick. Christian, Raskala, Bustani. Charlotte, Florence, Breen. Megan, Elizabeth, Brock. Alexandra, Christine, Brower. Kimberly, Grace, Brown. Liam D. Burns. Patrick Joseph Canning. Victoria Lynn Capuchon. Rachel Marie Caramanica. Asia Monet Cato. Ian David Chester. Patrick James Christie. Lauren Catherine Cleary. <laughs> Catherine Jean Collins. <laughs> Michael William Concannon. Robert Thomas Conroy. Bridget Marie Cook. Ayana Sherelle Cooks. Adam James Costa. Joseph Henry Crane. Paula Cray. Aaron N. Cunningham. <laughs> Molly Curley. <laughs> Molly Curtin. Janine Marie Curtis. Marissa Elizabeth Dakin.
Emily Amado de Barros. Amanda Catherine Deftos. What are you doing? Roisin Rebecca Delaney. <laughs> Hans Atha Delpy. David Del Rosso, Jr. Nicholas Michael DeLuca. Brian Thomas Donahoe. Danielle Nicole Donovan. <laughs> Rory Donovan. <laughs> Alicia Doralis. Catherine Dossett. Helen Victoria Doyle. Andres Marie Duchesne. Zachary A. Duncan. Mary Veronica Dunford. <laughs> Brianna Maureen Fabrizio. Austin James Ferreira. Megan Ryan Pistori. Devin Fitzgerald. Daniel Augustin Flatus. Brianna Rose Fogarty. <laughs> Catherine Margaret Fraser. Megan Frazier. Selena Galveo. Robert Goodick. Benjamin Gordon. Jordan Abigail Grass. Alessandra Lynn Griffin.
Nicholas Omar Jonathan Griffith. Patrick T. Grisbinski, Jr. Thomas J. Guilfoyle. William N. Hardman, Jr. Laura A. Harvey. <laughs> Kayla M. Hashem. <laughs> Nicole Gloria Hayford. Emily Marie Higgins. <laughs> Joseph Paul Hughes. Megan E. Hunter. <laughs> Stefan Patrick Imbert. <laughs> Michelle L. Inglis. Emma Nicole Isgra. <laughs> Leah C. Jackson. <laughs> Julia A. Januskis. Richard C. Jasper III. Alexa O. Johnson. Danielle Lynn Johnson. Elizabeth Nora Johnson. Julia J. Johnson. Austin E. Joseph. Ryan Michael Joyce. <laughs> Brennan Lowell Kelly. Sarah Elizabeth Kelly. Yeah. 
Kate Elizabeth Keneally. Sarah Kalaki Sieber. Chad David King. James B. King. Caitlin M. Kingston. Nicholas Kinsella. Emily L. Clapman. John Lawrence D. Coloba. Cedric H. Comtang. Erica A. Lane. Jenna R. Lehan. Joseph G. Lateo. Stephen A. Leonard. Mark T. Latafe. Samantha Ann Lewis. Shannon J. Locke. Caitlin A. Long. Andrew Looney. Christopher T. Lucini. Alexander M. McMillan. Jeffrey G. Mahoney. Brooke M. Maker. Rachel Manning. Veronica Elizabeth Martins. Katherine McDonough. Lauren M. McGilvery. Yeah. 
Catherine E. McLaughlin. Jacqueline Catherine Melanson. Matthew T. Moreno. John C. Morrissey. Noreen Marie Mulligan. Ashley G. Giroux. <clears throat> Jonathan Keith O'Brien. Timothy J. O'Brien. <laughs> Siobhan M. O'Connell. <laughs> Casey A. O'Keefe. Michael M. O'Leary. John W. O'Neill III. Chuma C. Anochi. Jeffrey R. Page. Francis M. Pantano. Indy Y. Parisian. Timothy D. Pearson. Nolan E. Phillips. Amanda M. Quinn. Emma C. Quinn. Daniel Ridge. Ryan Roach. <laughs> Michaela Rowan. Desmond Robinson.
Lucas Robison. Christopher Rogers. Matthew S. Rolt. Alexander Russell. Danielle M. Ryan. Angela Salbucci. Elise H. Schofield. Amanda Sergio. James Shepard. Taylor Shawokas. Shirley Sidney. Faith Simon. Mary Snyder. Amanda Solari. Samantha Solari. Amanda Spano. James M. Spencer. Evan Stimson. Kevin Sullivan. Olivia N. Sweeney. <laughs> Stephanie N. Tatry. <laughs> Allison E. Tevis. Adam J. Thorburn. Clayton S. Toner. Christopher K. Toomey. Amanda Lee Tremonte. <laughs> Victoria Lynn Tricomi.
Margaret L. Tyre. Daniel S. Vieira. Matthew David Walls. Rosie Amelia Walsh. Sarah J. Walsh. Lillian N. Wambu. Kayla E. Ward. Kayla! Michael W. Wenners. Sarah Pauline Willett. Brianna B. Witherspoon. <laughs> Darren M. Wolf. You're welcome. Julia R. Zemanian. Courtney Grace Zambello. <laughs> Megan M. Zulon. It is my pleasure to present the graduating class of 2014 of Cardinal Spelman High School. And now I would ask Ms. Sarah Gagnon to come forth to do her speech. You guys look so beautiful. Okay. When I first thought about what I would say to all of you, I can honestly say that for the first time in my life, I had absolutely no idea what to say. I was told no heartfelt quotes and to throw in a joke or two. And I could have, but I'm not that funny, and the only person who would laugh is my mom, and that's because she's obligated to. As I stand in front of all of you today, it is my hope that you have learned that high school isn't all about reading a book, writing a paper, or memorizing the quadratic formula. It was all for this. 
this moment right here, right now, where you can stand in front of your family, friends, teachers, and classmates, and be able to tell them, or better yet, show them, that you are ready to take on the real world. You see, up until senior year, I really thought high school was the system set in place to teach you a certain curriculum and then just blindly throw you out into the real world. Then I was on my phone one night when I stumbled upon some corny Instagram page and I was struck by a post that said, high school isn't all about academics. High school teaches you how to think. And if you do not know how to think, someone will think for you. So as your class president, here's what I think. After today, go out into the real world and just be yourself. Be happy, make mistakes, not too many. Laugh and learn from them. And think for yourself. Take what you have learned from Spelman, not just in the classroom, but with friends, family, from parties and pointless Instagram fights or Twitter fights, and even the conversations you have with Ms. Davis in her office on occasion. <laughs> Take it all in and let it all be a lesson. I can't tell all of you to go out and change the world. But what I can say is change something. Now, whether that be the world or yourself for the better. I stand in front of a very intelligent, witty, sometimes highly sarcastic graduating class. And in my opinion, one of the best classes to graduate from Cardinal Spelman High School. <laughs> class of 2014, I wouldn't treat any of you as classmates. It was an honor to go through this experience with you, the good and the bad. Finally, I hope that you go out into the world and be the best you that you can be. Live your lives with few regrets and live a life full of happiness and faith. Congratulations, we made it. <laughs>
and just as we have one Maddie, Evan, and Jojo. Juliana and Sarah will be forever linked for their immense talents, and your class officers, Sarah, Lila, Delina, and Juliana, will be known for their, I'm sorry, honey, Layla. Okay. Will be known for their leadership. You know, they're a very diverse group. They call themselves the League of Nations. Well, I think they're in a league of their own. Congratulations. Yes, 2014 has had more than its share of superstars, but what separates this class is that they are very unified. The senior crazers, crazies had so much to do with our basketball championship. It was truly a team effort. Led by seniors, hundreds of students packed the house at their Christmas show and thoroughly modern Millie. Their presence added memorable pieces to the story of 2014. The school year moved from success to success because of the spirit of this class. A friend of Spellman said to me recently, wasn't it a great coincidence that the basketball team won for their lost friend? I responded that while you may think it was a coincidence, I assure you as far as the class of 2014 is concerned, it was no coincidence, just one Joey. Our masses were singular in nature because of the leadership of the class of 2014. Your ministries touch so many lives. Your community spirit has changed so many. Your spirit has enriched so many. You who truly have made a difference. Many years ago, Teddy Roosevelt, the famous rough rider, said, far better is it to dare mighty things, to win glorious triumphs, even though checkered by failure, than to rank with those poor spirits who neither enjoy nor suffer much because they live in a gray twilight that knows not victory nor defeat. Class of 2014, you have dared mighty things, and you have failed at times, but you certainly were never among those timid souls who, need, who knew neither victory nor defeat. And I congratulate you for that. There are those of you who may say to themselves, I could have done more. I should have done more. And that's okay. It is said that success is a journey, not a destination. And, a, and that journey will be different for each of you. In my first year here, I have so often heard graduates who by their own admission did not take full advantage of their Spelman experience. They, in many cases, tell me that, that when they were handing me a large check to help continue the mission of Spelman, many of our most generous benefactors were not the superstars of their class. So keep that in mind as the years go by. Fourteen, you have established yourself as a class of distinction, and now you prepare to take the next steps in your journey. Mark Twain said, courage is not resistance to fear, mastery of fear, not the absence of fear. So courage does not ignore fear. Courage is the ability to deal with it, we hope that Spellman has helped each of you to develop that courage to face the future wherever your life takes you. It is our fondest hope that the Holy Spirit, who is so constantly present here in the halls of Spellman, will continue to guide you as you go forth. To paraphrase something else that Twain said, don't look back and realize that there were too many missed opportunities. Embrace the next phase of your journey. Twain says, throw off the bow lines. Catch the trade winds in your sails. Explore, dream, discover. So from all of us who have had the privilege to be part of the Spellman family, we ask our Lord and Savior to continue to bless the class of 14, and may God bless Spellman. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Peebles, for your leadership and for those inspiring words for all of us. I can't believe it. 
It's almost over. How are our friends doing over there in the gym? Are you guys awake? <laughs> well, we've come to uh, the part of our program now where our graduates will actually sing for you our alma mater. Now, let's not end on a sour note. After four years of great success, let's belt it out and uh, leave them with a great lasting impression. So once again, for the last time, 2014, please stand. And with great pride in Cardinal Spelman High School, let's sing for one last time your alma mater. Not bad, huh? Bring it home, guys. We'll cherish always the spirit dwelling here. Deep in our hearts abide a faith that will never die. Class of two. 2014, the best class ever. And now it is my distinct honor and privilege to say to you one last time, you are dismissed, go forth and serve. God bless you all.